attention. In any city, in any country, in any hotel, there is a room that is never available. Ask the clerk at the front desk to give you the best room on the ninth floor. It doesn't matter if the hotel is not nine stories tall. The clerk will be overcome with a look of fear, and they will rush to the back room. The manager of the hotel will come out and silently lead you to an elevator in the basement of the hotel. The elevator will have several buttons with unrecognizable symbols. Press any three buttons in quick succession, and the elevator will descend. When the elevator stops, you will be in a clean and well-lit hallway. Walk into the room at the end of the hallway. Inside the room will be three windows, one on each wall. One window will display a view as if you are a few dozen stories up in the middle of an ambiguous city. The second will display a view as if you were in the middle of a foggy forest. If you look through the third window, well, then the next fool to seek these objects will find nothing more of you than your blood on the walls and floor of this room. Spend three days in the room with no food or water, never looking at the third window. You may leave the room and exit the hotel at any time, but you will be plagued by dreams of unimaginable suffering for the remainder of your life. Should you remain within the room for three days, you will be suddenly overcome with absolute knowledge of the human mind. Many go mad at this point. If you survive the rush of information, call aloud. What was he thinking? As soon as you finish speaking, you will be told. You are now holder of cognition. Your thoughts are now object 101 of 538. Your only salvation is to bring them together.